I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be wearing for Thanksgiving. I'm gonna go through makeup, hair, as well as my whole entire outfit. I hope you guys enjoy this. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm first starting off with my face primer, which is the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. This really helps to fill in my pores and make my foundation go on more smoothly. Now I'm just using some lip balm. This is the Nivea Milk and Honey Lip Balm. Now I'm taking my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. I'm going to be mixing it on my hand with my Clinique Tinted Moisturizer. I'm doing this because this shade is a little bit too dark for me. I need to go pick up another one since I'm not wearing self-tanner at the moment. So it's a little dark, but I'm going to make it work. I'm going to mix it with another one of my Tinted Moisturizers that's actually a lot lighter. And then I'll fix the neck and everything with bronzer and powder. So I'm just using my Flat Tap Kabuki brush to blend this all over my face. Now for my under eyes, I'm using my CoverGirl in Olay Simply Ageless Under Eye Concealer. And I love this. I believe it's been discontinued, but I can probably find it for you on Amazon. But I'm just using that underneath my eyes and also on my lid. It really helps to brighten up the eyes and it's also very moisturizing as well. I forgot to hold up the next product, but I'm just using my MAC Studio Finish Concealer just to spot conceal any areas that I need to. For my powder, I'm using my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation with an e.l.f. Kabuki brush and I'm just setting my under eye concealer and I'm also just going to blend over top my foundation with this as well. I'm just also taking that powder down my neck just to blend out the color. Now I'm just using my L'Oreal True Match Face Powder. This is in Coco, and I'm just taking my Sedona Lays Luxe Essentials Powder Brush. I'm just gonna lightly contour my face with this. I'm trying to go kind of light on the bronzer just because I'm not wearing my self-tanner in this video. I am going to be applying it soon, though. I just have not had any time at all to do it, but I've been loving my sun goddess still throughout the fall. For blush, I'm using the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in Plum Wine. I'm just using an e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush to apply this. It might look like I'm putting on a lot of blush, but I'm actually going to go back over it with some powder just to blend it out. But I find that this helps your blush last a whole lot longer. If you apply a little bit extra, then go back over to tone it down with your powder. Then when it wears away, it's kind of still there. Now I'm just going back over that spot I was trying to conceal on my face with my MAC Studio Finish Concealer. For my eyebrows, I'm using my NYX Cake Powder in Medium, and I'm just going to be combing them out and then just lightly filling in my brows with a lighter shade. I've also been taking the wax in that same little palette and mixing it with the powder just so I can kind of set my brows and fill them in at the same time. It really just helps to save time. So now onto eyes. I'm first using my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm just applying that all over my lid. Now I'm taking my Maybelline Color Tattoo. This is an inked in pink and it's a really nice light pink silvery color. I'm just going to be applying that right on my lid. And then I'm taking my BH Day and Night palette and I'm picking up this really dark maroon color on a flat shader brush and I'm just applying that on my lid. It's going to look a little crazy at first but I am going to go back in and blend everything and make it look good. Now back to that palette, I'm just picking up the shade right beside it which is just more of a brown golden color. It looks really good with this red and I'm just packing that on the outside of my lids. Now I'm using a clean blending brush, I'm just going to blend everything out like crazy. Now I'm using my NYX Love & Pears Parisian Chic Palette and I'm picking up the Shimmery Champagne color on a large flat shader brush and I'm going to be packing that on my lid over top of both of the colors. This is going to help tone it down and make it seem less like a red eyeshadow look. I also picked up the highlight shade in there which is just a neutral skin tone shade and that's going to also help tone it down as well. This is a great tip if you apply too much eyeshadow or you don't like the color or it's just too much and you want to make it more wearable, just go over it with any highlight shade. And I'm also using a fluffy blending brush to apply that highlight shade to my brow bone. Now I'm using more of a pinched crease brush and I'm just picking up the medium brown shade. It's really great for a transition color so it's going to make the colors blend a lot better up into my brow bone. Now I'm actually going to go back to the BH palette and pick up this coral shade. It's a really interesting color but this actually really helps to warm up the look and just make it blend out a lot better. I'm just very lightly applying that right over top of that brown that I already put on. Then I'm just following up with the same sequence of colors using a pencil brush on my lower lash line just to blend everything together. I started off with the brown and then I used a little bit of the maroon shade. And then I'm taking a really small flat shader brush and I'm just applying the shimmery champagne shade to the inner corners of my eyes to brighten everything up. Now I'm just applying some of my under eye concealer using a blending brush. I find that this helps just to clean up the look 
gives it more of a sharp edge but it's still very blended out and it doesn't look harsh or anything. It just really helps to clean up that shadow that might have fallen down too low. Then I'm just going over it with some powder. Now I'm just using the NYX Slide On Glide On Eyeliner. This is just in a really dark brown shade. I'm creating a very slight wing. You almost can barely even see it, but I'm just smudging it really close to my lashes. I wanted to keep this very natural and just kind of define my lashes and make them look a little bit thicker. I'm also taking it just halfway in on my lower lash line. Then I'm just using a pencil brush just to smudge everything out. Then I'm just lining my inner waterline with the NYX Wonder Pencil in light. This is just going to help brighten up my eyes and make them look more awake. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes using the Sally Hansen Eyelash Curler. And for my mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Butterfly Mascara. I have a full review on this. I will link for you guys down below. Now onto my lips. I'm just applying a little bit more of that lip balm. And then I'm taking the Revlon Just Fit and Kissable Balm Stain in Crush. You guys know I talk about this all the time. I love it for the fall time. I'm just going to apply a little bit of that to my lips, dab some of it off so it's not too dramatic and it looks just more like a natural stain. And then that is it. So now moving on to my hair. I've just been letting it air dry while I was doing my makeup. I don't have anything in it yet. I'm going to be using the Weed Egg Curl Quencher Cream Gel and I'm just going to lightly apply this with my hands. I'm just kind of scrunching it through my hair. I didn't really want to apply too much product because I am going to be using heat on it in a minute. Now I'm going to be using my Hot Tools Clampless Curling Wand. I'm just picking up random pieces on the top of my head and curling them in the direction that the curl is already naturally going. You guys have seen me do this a hundred times in different hair tutorials. If you're interested in any of those, I will have a link down below for you guys. I'm just basically doing this to make my hair look a little bit more put together and polished. Usually I don't do this on a day-to-day -day basis, but for an occasion like Thanksgiving where pictures are going to be taken and stuff, I just wanted it to look a little bit better. So now onto the outfit part of this video, finally. I just wanted to keep it kind of casual, but still dress it up a little bit. The sweater that I'm wearing is actually like an oatmeal color. It's kind of like tan beige. I found this at Kohl's. I think it was only around 12 bucks. My denim jeggings are from American Eagle. They're just really soft and comfortable. I'm also wearing a brown cami underneath the sweater, I believe is also from Kohl's. They have my favorite camis there. They're so soft and really good quality. My scarf that I'm wearing is from Charming Charlie. It's just a burgundy scarf. I actually just tied it to make it an infinity scarf, but it's actually not. It's just a regular scarf. And for my earrings, these are also from Charming Charlie. They're just burgundy and pink, and they're just really pretty. I've been wearing these so much. And on my wrist, I'm just wearing a gold watch that I found on Amazon. The Cartier Inspire bracelet is actually from Kitsy Lane, and then the Chunky Chain is from H&M. And then my ring that I have on is also Cartier Inspired, and it is from Kitsy Lane as well. And then finally, my shoes are from Charlotte Russe. They might not have these anymore. I got them a while back, but they are just brown peep toe wedges. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoy this. And also, I wanted to wish you guys Happy Thanksgiving, and I hope you guys have a great time with your friends and family.